Makoto! Kamaru! Is that really you? I knew it! You're... You're Makoto, right? Mr. Makoto Naegi, right? Mister? You're safe. I'm so relieved. I was worried the whole time. Same here. I wish I knew you were alright. I mean... I thought you had already died. Oh, Makoto! I'm so glad you're alive! I'm glad too, Komaru. I thought... I'd never see you again. But I'm relieved to find out you're safe. Y yeah Hey, uh, what about Dad and Mom? Are they with you? Huh? I see. Then you don't know either. I was hoping that you would. Then... you don't know either? <laughs> but... Uh... It's gonna be alright. Don't worry. I'm sure they're just fine, wherever they are. But... you have no proof of that. They could be... There's no proof they're not okay either. So let's just believe in hope for now. Yeah, if you say so. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's funny. I never thought I'd hear you say something like that. Really? Well, being positive is like my only good point. But more importantly, where are you right now? What's going on over there? I I'm at a building called Toa Tower. I, I was told I could use the communication device here. Oh, wait, that reminds me. Why are you answering? Uh, what do you mean by that? I mean, I called Future Foundation. Why are you the one who responded? You... you really don't know? Don't know? A about what? I'm with Future Foundation, Branch 14. That's my division. Toko, is this true? Toko? Wait, what? Toko is there with you? <laughs> what? You got a problem with that? You disappeared! Everyone was so worried about you! <laughs> worried? Like anyone would actually care if an intern went missing. You know I would never stay behind on a mission like this. Especially with Master going. So you tagged along without orders. Well, I figured that was pretty much what happened. Wait, hold on! You two know each other? That's why Toko knew about me from the beginning? Yeah, she... didn't tell you that? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Did I not? No! You very much didn't! Yeah, that sounds like Toko. Anyway, I'm glad you two are together. I'm just with her because I have no choice. Your whiny little sister balls when she's alone. So basically, I'm just a babysitter. I guess this will prepare me for my future with Master. Hey, hey! I wasn't bawling! Don't listen to her, Makoto! So, where is Byakuya? Master is... safe. Safe, but captured by the enemy. Just as I thought. Future Foundation's intel said as much. I just didn't believe it. I mean, Byakuya? Captured? He was probably taken by surprise by some fiendish cowards. There's no other way. Ugh. The son of the noble Togami family brought to the position of a mere hostage. Sounds like the situation is pretty serious. So serious the world is gonna collapse. The ultimate affluent progeny is in danger. Ultimate? Oh yeah. Byakuya Toko and I were all classmates at Hope's Peak Academy. Wait, you... you didn't know that, either? No, I didn't. Well, now's the time for your brother to explain it. Here's your chance. Now you can show off your utter lack of presence with your brother complex. Uh, I do not have a brother complex! I don't really know where to start. We weren't just regular classmates.
possibly you were trapped inside Hope's Peak Academy during the tragedy. We were forced to kill each other. Our classmates. Kill? A lot of our classmates ended up killing each other. Right in front of our eyes. Even after all this time, the memory, the despair, I can still feel it. It wasn't just some movie or game? It wasn't a movie. It was reality. It actually happened. And it was all broadcast live as part of the tragedy. The mastermind behind it all wanted to spread despair throughout the world. They wanted to show the whole world. The students of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbols of hope, falling to despair and death. Well, no chiming in with a remark this time? But wait, you two are still alive, so... Yeah, we were able to defeat the mastermind who planned the killing game and survive. Of course, we couldn't save everybody. And after that, we left Hope's Peak Academy and went into the outside world. But outside, it was more horrifying than we expected. It was easy to get discouraged, but by supporting each other, the friends who survived hell together, we moved forward. Soon we came under future Foundation protection. We chose to lend ourselves to the cause, to fight against the remnants of despair who are still trying to spread despair to the world. Right, Toko? <laughs> Toko, are you crying? Of course I am. Remembering the suffering and heartache. I see. I didn't know about that at all. I never thought something like that was going on. But you guys are so amazing. I gave up immediately, but you guys... You guys fought. We confronted the problem. I guess that's why you've changed. No, not really. I was always being saved by everyone else. Huh. You saying that? Your brother got so hyped up from being declared the ultimate hope? He was always dragging everyone along. So eager about everything. Hey, I wouldn't say I was hyped about it. Oh, but you don't deny the dragging everyone along part, huh? Jeez, take it easy on me. Makoto, you've definitely changed. You too, Komaru? What do you mean? I haven't changed a bit. No, really. You really changed. Might be weird for your little sister to say this, but you seem more mature now. Just from this conversation, I can tell you're more reliable than you used to be. Well, I don't really think so, though. But me? I haven't changed at all. Not since my imprisonment. Listen, about that, there's something I need to apologize for. Huh? Apologize? The reason you were in prison there? It's because of us. If we weren't chosen by the Mastermind, you wouldn't have ended up like this. Huh? What do you mean? You aren't the only prisoner in Toa. With you is everyone who is relevant to our classmates. In order to make us commit murder, the Mastermind abducted people relevant to us and tried to use them as a motive. We managed to stop it before it got that far, but the theme was killing among loved ones. The Mastermind was going to force us to watch you kill each other, to make us really lose all hope. The video of you, our family, being abducted was used for motive as well. That was just the beginning. The Mastermind was planning something far more cruel. In the end, 
the mastermind was swallowed by the despair, and that motive was left unused. But even after that, I was still imprisoned. Probably the doings of the remnants of despair, trying to succeed the mastermind's will. Because of them, we were totally in the dark about where the captives were being held. But a few days ago, the Future Foundation received an anonymous tip. We were told captives from the killing game were being held in a certain apartment in Toa City. So that's why Byakuya and the others were at my apartment. But because of those rioting little brats and their machines, the plan for saving the captives was scrapped. And even Master, the protagonist, was captured. Makoto, you've already heard the ones causing the riots here are Monokumas, right? So, did you figure out what the deal is with these Monokumas yet? No, we still haven't figured that out. Huh? Jeez, Future Foundation's useless. The Monokuma riot starting at the exact same time as the rescue operation. Strange. Like I said, it's no coincidence. It's conspiracy. Someone's setting up Future Foundation. Then that would mean the tip was a trap. Using the captives as bait to lure us there. The captives aren't just bait. They're targets for the massacre game the brats are playing. Massacre game? They make hunting and killing the captives part of their little game to taunt us. Wait, does that mean the captives are the ones wearing wristbands like mine? Then... Yuta and Hiroko and that man with the computer, they're... they're all captives? Yes. There are people close to us. People who were imprisoned in Toa, just like you. Kamaru, what you just said, is it true? You're involved in this massacre game too? Y yeah They put a wristband on me and now I'm being chased by these weird kids. That's... And one of the brats who started this sick game said something interesting earlier. Something about Big Sis Junko. Junko? You mean Junko and Oshima? Junko and Oshima? She's the mastermind behind the school... No, she's the mastermind behind the tragedy itself! And she has huge boobs! Big boobs too? Junko and Oshima is known as the true ultimate despair. She was our former classmate. But didn't you say earlier that you already defeated the Mastermind? Yes, Junko and Oshima is dead. But it seems her memory is still alive and well. Even in death, Junko and Oshima continues to influence the remnants of despair. She's become a martyr to them. Now she's even more trouble than when she was alive. It's like they worship her. Like some big-chested despair goddess or something. We did defeat her at Hope's Peak Academy, but... Well, lately, I've been thinking. She must have foreseen this possibility from the very beginning. Listening to you guys is... I just can't believe it's all real. Yes, her big boobs are indeed real. No, not that part. But I get why you think this is all just fiction. Crazy kids are killing adults, you know? Yeah, things are just so messed up here. Makoto, hurry up and get over here. Because of the wristband, I can't get out of the city. If I leave without permission, it blows! But Future Foundation can remove the wristband, right? So please come save me! Kamaru... You can't. 
Huh? I-I can't... Can't what? Why do you think they're holding Master hostage? They don't want Future Foundation to interfere. Like taking hostages during a bank robbery. Master Byakuya is being used as a deterrent. Meaning, if Future Foundation came to this city, Master would be... Then... Future Foundation won't come save us? Then what am I supposed to do? Didn't I already tell you? There's no other way. You have to fight against those kids. Get rid of them, and you can save yourself and Master. That's impossible! No, it isn't. You have Master's gun, and I'm with you too. But, but I... I can't take this anymore! I just can't do it anymore! I'm not from Future Foundation, or Hope's Peak. I'm just a normal girl who can't do anything! Kamaru! Makoto, please, I'm begging you! Come save me! Hurry, please! I told you, you can't! If they come here to rescue you, Master will be executed! Makoto, you better not come, if you even try it. I... I will... I will kill your sister! K kill? Toko, calm down! Trap us. We gotta hurry and get out of here. But I haven't finished talking to my brother. We can't get through anymore. And it doesn't matter anyway, no matter how much you talk. As long as Master is in their custody, Future Foundation cannot come to this town. At least it's gonna be a bit brighter now. Uh, that little brat! I'm... I'm sure she knows how to get out of this place! Let's try following her footprints. This paint... the hacking gun can see it, right? Dark! So dark! Let me out already!
surprised me. I thought it was a Monokuma. G God, if you're there, I could really use a flashlight. my eyes? Will I not be able to tell it's dark anymore? <laughs> On a Kuma? Jeez, I don't have time for this! <laughs> what? Exactly where the exit is, right? T t tell me! Uh huh. <laughs> an emergency staircase right here? Thank God! Truly perfect for an emergency like right now! Let's hurry and get out of here! Nice.
Toco. Hey, Toco. You better listen well. If you wash black clothes too many times, the color fades. But there's a way to combat this. It's a simple method. First, do the laundry like you normally would. Yes, do the laundry like usual. But before you rinse it off, add just a little bit of beer to the water. Oh yes, I will. I'll add beer, anything. And just like that, faded clothes can be fully restored. <gasps> I'm starting to get better at doing laundry. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now I can be the perfect livestock for Master. Toko, get a hold of yourself! We found the emergency exit, but it's blocked. That brat! She betrayed us! A little more and I would have blown up! I don't think she was our ally from the start. Why is it my fault? You're the one who said you wanted to contact Future Foundation, and now this happens! Thanks to you, I got caught in this damn trap! Take some responsibility! Responsibility? Ugh, who cares? I don't want to hear your excuses! I just need some light, yeah? Light! More light! More light! through. Maybe you can break that part. Good that we're finally outside, but now what do we do? Uh, I'm sure there's a way to get down. Walk carefully. Looks like we can get down with this ladder, but... What floor are we on again? 
better than being in the dark. Come on, let's go. beat by those two chicks? Well, not like I care. I hate him anyway. Taro probably got himself killed. Cut, ground down, crushed and stretched, squashed into paste, burned and eaten. Poor little Taro. Even though I hated him. Anyways, Monica, why are we not holding a funeral this time? Funeral? Oh, that! I got bored of that. Doesn't really matter, we can't even fill the coffin anyway. Well, well, if you got bored of it, guess we don't really have to. But, um, do you think Jotaro really died? Hmm? I mean, if he did die, we should have found his body, right? I was just, you know, a bit curious. That's all. It sounds like you're saying Monica is wrong. Huh? Like I said! You're trying to say Monica is wrong! You're questioning Monica! N -n no! Not at all! There's no way Monica could be wrong! And speaking of wrong, People who put Worcester sauce on fried eggs just wrong? It's so obvious that fried eggs taste best when you drown it in maple syrup, right? Look, I was just a little curious, that's all. My head's just a little out of place right now, is all. I'm just a teensy bit curious. Like about why mailboxes are always white, or how enemies become friends right after a fight. You... don't have to worry about things like that. I, I'm sorry! It's not like I have bad feelings toward Monica or anything. So please, please don't hate me! Keep loving me forever and ever! Yep, yep. I already know that. It's not something to apologize over. I know you're just a sweet, gentle little girl. Huh? Gentle? Kotoko, you are so cute! As always. The director, the producer, the sponsors, everybody was super happy. And now, there's another business you have to attend to. And your mom's gonna come with, okay? It's going to be all right. Kotoko is just so sweet. Everyone will be gentle with you. Very, very gentle. Demons are filthy, 
smelly, ugly chunks of meat, more worthless than dirt, and disgusting, filthy demons deserve a disgusting, filthy death. They should all choke on their own poop and suffocate! They should just hold it in and hold it and hold it until their intestines explode! Jeez, Kotoko, that's so gross. Um, what are you guys doing? Ah, oh, it's Nagisa. Now's not the time for banter. We've got a lot of work to do here. Oh my, oh my. Are you perhaps... jealous? W what are you talking about? What do I have to be jealous of? It's not like I'm jealous of you. Is that what you're trying to say? Like I said, it... it's not that at all! Hey, what do you mean, jealous? Yeah, Monica! You're so innocent! I could just put whipped cream on you and eat you up! <laughs> I don't get it at all! And hey, more importantly, you mentioned there was work to be done. Did something happen? Yes, I've received a report from the Monokuma kids I sent scouting earlier. Those two schoolgirl demons are sending a communication from Toa Tower. Don't tell me they're trying to contact that demon society, Future Foundation! It's not a problem. I already scrambled their transmission. We also have a hostage. Future Foundation can't make a move regardless. And I have a plan. By taking advantage of those two demons, we can massacre all of the remaining free-roaming demons. You mean, the Resistance? As long as they exist, our paradise cannot be completed. We should take this opportunity. Amazing! Amazing! I don't really get it, but it sounds super amazing! Well done, Nagisa! W wait Mona! Hey! Huh? What's wrong? I it's nothing, just... Y you're a little close to me is all. Aww, you're such a shy boy, Nagisa. Your plan. If it works, our paradise can finally be built. And when that happens, the Warriors of Hope will level up to Saviors. Hmm. As our new leader, I will continue to have high expectations of you, sir. Y yeah, you're right. High expectations for me. Did you hear that? Our children's paradise of smiles is going to be ready soon! Hey, you're listening, right? Kurokuma? Oh, right. You can talk now. As usual. So anyway, 
the hell are we talking about? You saying something about making adults into sausages? Gonna pull out the organs, grind them up, make them into yummy, cruelty-free cuisine? And then you gather them up, sell them in a supermarket, and become an urban legend, huh? Now that sounds awesome! I want to see that! <laughs> We're not at the first floor yet? This is an emergency ladder. Why did it stop halfway? Jeez, this half-ass ladder. Who? Where, where is the person in charge? Looks like we gotta head back inside from here. Uh, you're saying I have to walk through that dark place again? We're already on the second floor. Just a little bit further and we're out. I might actually be cheered up a little. I'm not the shrewish woman I used to be. Shrooms? Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'll rely on you anytime soon. It, it's gonna be all right. This is just the last hope, that's all. The last hope? That's not reassuring at all. If it stays dark like this, my life is getting shorter and shorter. I can feel death behind me. Well, try holding out a bit longer then. What's that over there? A power panel, right? that horrible darkness yeah all we got to do now is get out of here If you type in the password on that laptop on the counter, the shutter should open. I feel like we've done something like this before. Leave it to me. I'm in my element. I, the Riddle Queen. Why would you want to give yourself such an embarrassing title? Darkness. It's probably a riddle that has to do with light. Obviously. But does the room next door have something to do with it? There might be something in this room. Let's get this over with. Pick up your... Hey! What are you making it dark for? You're doing it just to mess with me, aren't you? Do I have to make those six-digit numbers four digits? Why do I have... Toko, can you help me move this locker? Sure, but... You think there might be a hidden passageway behind the locker? What the heck? There's no hidden passage here! Jeez, don't get my hopes up! Toko, 
why don't we try moving this locker, too? Ugh. You sucker people into doing work for you with your nice words. I'm tired. Why do I have to do this? Down, lady. You only solved a child's riddle. I guess I didn't tell you why I'm afraid of the dark. It's not a happy story. Well, if it's something heavy, maybe I'll pass on the sto <gasps> story. Sorry for now. I, I see. So you don't have to fight against those beast monokumas if you find the singing kid. It's a pain in the ass, but it's better than fighting against them.
they're all over the place. It's safer just to look for the hidden brat. so we don't get caught. Monokuma's overheated. Break them all. No mercy. Outside, right? Nothing to worry about now, right? Which reminds me... <laughs> D 
Don't mess with me! This is the worst. Good thing we got out of there okay. Being trapped? And that sudden blackout? What's with that? It's those brats, obviously. They found out we contacted Future Foundation somehow. That's why they interrupted the communication. After that, we... We really won't be able to contact Future Foundation ever again. Makoto, come save us? Like I told you, he can't! Future Foundation shows up, Master will be in danger. But what about me? Is it okay that I'm in danger? I'm just a regular girl! I'm not part of Future Foundation or Hope's Peak or anything! Yap all you want. You can't change the facts. 
Toko, what you said earlier... You weren't serious, were you? What do you mean? You said you were gonna kill me. If you're going to just go ahead and summon Future Foundation, I will prevent it. So you were serious. That's right, I am serious. I will do anything for the sake of my master. So you'd even kill your friend? What? Friends? Did you think I'd feel differently if you started using the word friend? Don't even try it. I won't be fooled. But that's horrible. I didn't mean it that way at all. I really, I really do trust you. Hendrix himself came to my live concert three times! In my dreams, anyway! What? You didn't think I'd still be talking? Well, guess what? I'm still talking! Hey, by the way, when is that neat party with the pool of blood and hell gonna start? This is gonna be a once-in-a-century event! I'd go even if I had to pawn off my wife for a ticket! <laughs> Massacre! Bonsai! M to the A to the motherfucking Sakura! <laughs> oh yeah! Massacre, what an awesome word! It's downright magical! It has a great ring to it, a beat to it, the beatbox beating on my heart! <laughs> so yeah, anyway, Hendrix was like... Hey, how much longer are you gonna talk? Hey, you can't stop me! I'd kill you! My fans would kill you! Well, maybe I just have to win you over! Should I go help a granny cross the street or something? Jeez, that's ejecting into my witty banter, you high bastard! Horrific idiot! <laughs> Never mind, just be quiet. I figured it would be a good idea to ask for advice every once in a while, but I guess not. He may be our advisor. But I really cannot stand all the noise every single time. We already have great ideas for hurting the adults, so we can get rid of them if we want. We've already lost so many of our friends. Let's just keep him in silent mode, hmm? You're so nice, Monica! In that case, I have no objections! If Monica's fine with it, so am I! Now, let's hear about this plan of yours, Nagisa. How are we gonna annihilate the Resistance? Simple, really. We crush their secret base. Huh? Did you find out where it is? Yes. If we ambush the place they believe to be safe, they will panic and be flushed out. Like ants who've lost their nest, they will wander aimlessly above ground. And in that weakened state, we crush every last one of them. The resistance dies with them. Ooh, Nagisa! How vulgar! If you weren't on our side, I'd totally pee my pants in fear! Of course, we have every right to kill them. They've quite earned their fate. Yep, yep, right! As expected of our new leader. You sure have a good plan, Meow. But, instead of right to kill them, isn't it more like duty? 
already promised Big Sis Junko that the Warriors of Hope will annihilate the demons. Woo! Woo! Nagisa and Monica are so vulgar, so cool! There's no way I can lose now! I gotta work hard and hunt, hunt, hunt down those demons! <laughs> Even though our team is missing a few members, we're really getting pumped up. Right? You guys think so too, yeah? Oh, for sure! I agree so hard my nodding looks like headbanging! Coming up with that bitchin' plan all without your advisor? You sure have grown! What? I didn't mean like grown, like in the adult way. You guys wouldn't like that. It's like complimenting a ninja for standing out so much. Whoa! That was a close one. Damn close! Hey, why are you talking? Monica didn't give you permission. Aw, oh, be easy on me, Nagy, sir. Monica brought it up. Didn't you hear her say, you guys think so? Obviously, I am included in there. Right, Monica? Hmm? I didn't mean that at all. Dun, dun, dun. Hold up. It's true that I may have chatted just a little too much. But talking is like my whole purpose in life. If you tell me to shut up again, I'll die! Die, I tell ya! Probably, definitely, no, seriously, gonna die! Jeez, you're hopeless. Fine. Just keep it down, okay? <laughs> I ain't gonna say thank you. Ah, oh, gee. I sure hope there's no one in your group that can read minds. Don't want to say a lie that's gonna get sniffed right out. <laughs> oh yeah. Seriously. Hello. I apologize for being late again, everyone. Hey, hey, hey! Where the hell have you been? You totally missed my hilarious dialogue! I was running an errand for a Miss Fighter. It sure was difficult finding sweet chestnuts. Are these chestnuts properly peeled? I'm sorry? No. Why? What are you, nuts? This is downright nuts! I asked for peeled nuts! Unpeeled nuts are like a completely different food! Ah, as expected of the greatness actress, your orders are quite detailed. Even if you're our servant, you keep bringing up ancient history and I'll kill you. Sorry, sorry. I'll peel the nuts for you. Forgive me. Guess I have no choice. I'll forgive you. I prefer salty things to sweet ones. Hey, where are you going? It has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with me. You've got some nerve saying that while doing nothing on your own. Nothing? You think I've done nothing? It's true that you've saved me a lot, but I've been working hard too, you know? Saying that I haven't done anything? That's too far! What do you want? You want me to praise you? 
You want me to say thank you? Too bad. I've never praised or thanked anyone my whole life. And that's why you don't have any friends! What? Leave me alone! I... I like being by myself. Rather than tagging along with someone like you, I'd be better off dying a solitary death. Someone like me? Meaning what? Someone who always has an excuse. A coward. Using that word normal as an excuse, always getting help from others. You're the type of person who always says, there's nothing I can do about it, right? You are nothing like your brother. Well, it's not like I really acknowledged him either. Fine. Where are you going? To find Shirakuma. You can go back to that dump if you want. It won't make any difference. Better than being here. You don't have to come with me. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I have my reasons. That doesn't make any sense at all. Naku Man's Labyrinth?
Going? Jeez, enough already.
まーす You sure received a nice reward. Are you still going to run away? Even with all your weapons? Still think you can't fight? I'm not doing this because I want to. Um... <sighs> Don't mess with me! I see. And... Hey.
Are you an idiot? Don't mess with me! that ammo from earlier. shielded one. It won't work even if we get a direct hit on them.
Hey, welcome! Are you really planning on going back? There's no point in being here.
Um, where's Shirakuma? Um, hello? Hey! You too! Yay! Yay! You made it back safe! I'm glad! Now I want to hear the whole story, but first... Welcome back! Come, leap into my arms! Jeez, this guy developed a taste for hugs fast. Don't be modest. Do it. Do it. I yeah, I guess I can. I haven't taken a bath for a while, so I might be a little sticky. Oh, how about you comb out your hair, take a bath, and change your clothes and undergarments first? Jeez, pushy. Why don't I just wrap myself in a bow for you too? I was trying to do a dirty joke since usually I'm very clean as a change of pace. Anyway, you two must be tired. Why don't you just rest for a while? With the mood in here, I don't think I could sleep even if I wanted to. Aside from you, everyone seems unwelcoming. That's not it. They're just... shy. I mean, not just one, but two girls in school uniforms? That's enough to make a man's heart burst. I've heard that you only appreciate being high school age after you've graduated high school. Hey everyone! Aren't you glad these young girls came back to us? What the hell are you talking about? Are your ears busted or something? Hey, Shirakuma, thanks for the offer, but I really don't feel like resting right now. Kamaru, what happened? Did the connection not work? No, the connection worked fine. But I'm just not sure Future Foundation is going to come through. why you're so down. I'm sorry. Do you want me to pat your head? Pat her head? How many heads have you crushed with a hand like that? Like I said, I don't do anything like that. Yeah, I know. I trust you, Shirakuma. You're the only one I can trust anymore. Hey, Shirakuma? What should I do now? I... I don't know what to do anymore. To tell you the truth, Haiji and the others are in a conference discussing exactly that. Why don't you go on in and join them? Huh? But... but... That's not a good idea. Have you already forgotten you ignored his warning and went to Toa Tower? Oh, that's nothing. That was just a small misunderstanding. We still have the same goal. To stop these out-of-control kids and free the mistreated adults. Isn't that right? I... I didn't really think it through that far. No, really. I know you can do it. Huh? Rather, you have to do it. You have to be able to save the adults. What are you saying? She's the complete opposite kind of girl you want for this. This is Armageddon, and we gotta band together and destroy that kid asteroid. Come on! Our future is in there! 
Jeez, what's wrong with him? You're right. Amazing!
and... Aww. Huh? Huh? No. Are you all right? <laughs> this guy was the one shouting at the monitor before. Something about his wife? <laughs> so, how did he end up like this? How much longer do I have to stay down here? Days and days of this goddamn place! No more! I can't take it anymore! Maybe it's better to just leave her alone. I thought I heard a strange noise earlier. It's okay though, right? We aren't found out? It's going to be just fine. I think. I, I sure hope so. But I really do feel like I can hear them. Their laugh. It's going to be alright. Sure it is, right? Monokumas aren't going to get down here. It, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> It's no use! I can hear them! The laughing! He's losing it. Just waiting down here to die. I would rather go up to the surface and die there. I, I can't die in a place like this! Let me out of here! I heard you're from Future Foundation. And? What's wrong with that? I've heard rumors. Future Foundation wants to destroy this entire town. Huh? Uh, of course they don't. Who's spreading a rumor like that? I don't know. But I know there are plenty of people here who believe it. You should be careful. Yo, Coco and Fufu. Heard you went outside. Well, I figured you would. How should I put it? There's something different about you two, compared to these people. What do you mean? How can I say it? The air around you, it's different. You two are always facing forward. 
But in here, the air is getting heavier and heavier. Everyone's stressed. Stuck in a dark and moldy place like this? How could you not be? Anyway, you went outside. Can you tell me about it? Did you get some kind of clue about people with wristbands? Um... What's going on? So cruel. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Hey, hey! It doesn't matter if they're just kids! We have to kill them before they kill us! But the kids have those Monokumas on their side! We have to do something about them first! What do you mean by that? It's like I said! We have to take them out somehow. I'm at my wit's end here. If I stay underground another minute, I'm gonna lose it. I'm telling you, without a plan, a fight right now is far too risky. Haiji, as leader, what do you think? I have everyone's lives in my hands. There's no way I'd put you all in danger. I'm completely against a suicide attack. Even for those who are prepared to die. So you want us to just stay here? <laughs> You're telling us to spend our lives in this shitty place, constantly afraid of those kids? My principle is to not waste lives. As a leader, I cannot accept a plan that defies that. B but I'm not telling you to stay here forever. I'm just saying now is not the right time. Does anyone else have any ideas? Haiji, is it all right if these girls join the conference after you guys take a break? H hello You two. Why are you two here? I already told you I don't want to talk to you anymore. Now, now. It's not the time to argue. You guys have to get along, especially at a time like this. Regardless, this conference is over. No, not yet. It's not like you've considered all the options yet, right? Remember the idea I brought up before? Did you consider that? I already told you, it's impossible. I understand how you feel, but... Hey, what exactly are you guys talking about? It's... about persuading the children. Persuade? That's your idea? It's obviously a little late for that, don't you think? But you guys are all humans. You can come to an agreement with words instead of violence. You really think a group of monsters like those kids can be reasoned with? I bet they'd kill us the moment we showed up to treat with them. Plus this group here? There can't be peace with those kids. You know what they've done. But, but still, why don't you at least try? It's like Shirakuma said, we're all humans. Did you already forget who we're dealing with? Remember what that P.E. Punk showed us? Just because they gave birth to us and raised us, they thought they could control us all. As Hero, I hunted them down and let everyone go free. Those 
Those brats don't even care about family. Things like persuasion? It will never work. That's right. They're not human, they're demons. And not just that, even if we tried to use family to persuade them, it's not possible. The survivors here don't have any children anyway. Huh? W wait, you mean everyone here doesn't have any kids? But there's so many adults here. It's probably not a coincidence. Those kids are focusing on parents first. Why? Who knows? They have a deep-seated hatred of the ones who raised them. It's messed up. It's impossible to persuade a group like that. I'm completely against the idea. But if fighting is impossible, and persuasion is impossible, what are you going to do? Didn't I already say it? The best plan is to just wait for a while for a good opportunity. And exactly how long is this for a while? I don't know. But now's the time to toughen up and endure it. You say wait and endure. You're just repeating the fact you're not going to do anything. You're an outsider. How could you possibly understand? I am the leader of this resistance. I have to think about the lives of everyone here. What resistance? A useless leader like you? You're even more of a burden than this chick. What did you say? Hey! You too! You don't think about others and just say whatever you want. You're no different than those kids. You're the one who's a child. Complaining, not even doing anything. If you don't like the way I lead, then you can leave. No one is going to stop you. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm leaving. But I know you're wrong. Let's go, Omaru. You're the one who's wrong, Toko. Huh? What are you saying? You... don't understand. You don't understand the feelings of the weak at all. I... I'm not blaming them for being weak. I'm blaming them for using it as an excuse. That's exactly my point. The reason they don't do anything is because they can't build confidence. I would know. You're someone strong, with talent, chosen for Hope's Peak Academy and Future Foundation. You don't know how people like me feel. You don't know what it's like. I don't understand what it's like to be weak. You think I'm chosen? You must be kidding. What's so great about me, huh? I'm a walking inferiority complex. I don't have confidence. I never have. But what's going to change if I just keep saying that? Using that as an excuse every day? I... I learned that from the killing. I suffered for it, but I did something about it. So for you to say that I was just chosen, like I had nothing to do with it, I won't allow it. Please, wait guys! Oh, fighting is a big no-no! Emergency! Monokumas are attacking us! Huh?
What? Why are there Monokumas here? How did the children find out about this place? That's not important right now. Just run! Maybe we should run too. Wait! Please, protect everyone! P protect If this keeps up, everyone will be killed! If you can at least buy us some time! I beg you, please! We need you! Now's not the time to argue. If we don't fight, our lives are in danger too! Fine. Everyone! Everyone's going to be killed! How did the Monokumas get here? Wow! Now's not the time to worry about that! No! Stop! I don't want to die! This is your fault. Huh? 
This whole time I've been so careful keeping this place a secret. I convinced people to stay underground. Stay hidden so they couldn't be followed. But after all that, this happens. The only explanation is that they followed you! You brought them here! We... we did? When you contacted Future Foundation, the kids must have honed in on you. They tailed you, and you brought them right back here! It's all your fault! You did this to all of us! But that's not fair! I... I didn't want this to happen! Oh, wait! These two protected us, didn't they? If they never came back after their stupid mission, this place wouldn't have been ambushed. That's a baseless accusation. You're just making an assumption. Well, as long as I'm assuming, I guess I'll go one further and say you guys are spies for the kids. That's not funny. What could we possibly gain from that? I remember an old folk tale about a war between birds and beasts. By using the face of both bird and beast, the bat played both sides. But because he couldn't get too close to either, in the end, the bat ends up alone. What are you trying to say? Bird or beast? I wonder which side you're on. Again. Please, make it stop! Why? Why now? What is that? What, you're asking me? Don't act like you don't know. <laughs> hey, what are you- Get off get me! Up. Stun gun, then they stuff me into this dusty room. It's all her fault. I hope she chokes on a fish she caught herself. Oh, I guess I don't want her to actually die. Ugh. I gotta focus on Master Biakia now. Not that stupid idiot. I can't just stay trapped in a place like this. I gotta hurry and save me. I, I gotta. Save. Uh, uh. That was close. I was about to sneeze there. Ugh, I can't take this dust anymore. I gotta find Omaru and. Yeah, seriously. Why am I thinking about her at a time like this? So irritating. When you contacted Future Foundation, the kids must have honed in on you. They tailed you, and you brought them right back here! It's all your fault! You did this to all of us! It's all my fault. Everyone got hurt because of me. He's right. If I didn't insist on coming back here, I just tried harder. If I were a better person, I could have protected them. I couldn't do it. Because I'm weak. <laughs> it's just like Togo said. I'm so weak. I 
kept saying, I can't do anything, always relying on others. I never even thought about saving others. And now this happens. Warriors of Hope, formerly known as Lil Ultimate Drama. Well, not like it matters at all. Open Sesame! <laughs> Woohoo! Sorry for the intrusion. Thank you very much. Phew! I reached way back for that reference. I had to deal with baby boomers all the time, so my gags are kind of dated. And speaking of old... Oh, I can't think of any follow-up. I must be nervous. <sighs> my heart is racing faster than 16 shots a second. Master Takahashi would be proud. Um... Yeah, yeah, I already know what you want to say. You were going to tell me a fighter should be a boy. Speaking of boys, I've heard some people say that slugs don't have a gender. But actually, slugs have both male and female bodies at once. People who go around spreading half-assed lies about slugs deserve swift punishment. Fighter kick! Fighter punch! Chaka! Hacha! That's what I told them, that I didn't want to be fighter because I'm not good at P.E. I mean, I am really good at physical education, though. How about you? You good at health and physical education? Is that... Is that even a subject you can be good at? There are no girls who dislike health and physical education. That's my theory, anyway. Stare... What? Truth is, I'm actually here to hunt you down. But... I changed my mind. I'll let you escape. What? It's not like my feelings about demons have changed any. I still hate them deeply. I still want to kill them all in the most painful, cruel way possible. Like, for example, drowning them in a septic tank or putting a razor under their fingernails. But that's not even enough. I hate them with full power. But anywho, despite my hatred, the reason I let you escape was because... You are super adorbs! Hmm? Huh? I love adorable things! I collect everything adorbs, from faucets to toilet seats! So, I'm gonna let an adorable girl like you go. Really? There is one catch. You're the only one allowed to leave. Four Eyes over there is not cute at all. What? But shh, keep it a secret, especially from the sage Nagisa. He's super strict with rules. Nagisa says I can't even drink soda during meals. It's not my fault the food is so tasteless. I mean, he could at least let me have a little. Tells me to drink milk, even if I'm eating cereal. It's like drinking curry soup with your curry. Uh, um. Anyway, let's go. Go on, get out before those chumps notice. But, but I can't be the only one to go. I can't just abandon all the people here. Oh, something wrong? Is your red flower blooming? Or maybe you just like locked rooms? Like, you're a murder mystery enthusiast? I can't just leave Toko behind. Well, I can understand a little hesitation. Why don't you just leave the cell for now? Come on, just step on out. Girls are more adorable if they're a teensy bit selfish.
And now... Hiya! <laughs> this is a denture launcher! So how about it? Pretty sweet machine, right? The smooth shaft, the fresh pink color, the brutal yet hypnotizing shine! <laughs> it's so adorbs, I just can't stand it! Ah, by the way, my dad was a dentist. And also, Papa was always cheating with his dental assistant. But I guess he had an inferiority complex, because he always role-played as a brain surgeon. Yes, a great daddy indeed. Neglecting his business and making me earn money instead. A perfect papa who I could kill over and over and over and it still wouldn't have been enough. What is this? I can't move. Ooh, your sleepy face is super adorbs. I bet your face is cute even halfway through swimming a stroke. Uh, however... Being adorbs isn't always a good thing. Cute girls go through terrible things. And if you're adorable too, you have to protect yourself. On your own. If you can't, you have to take whatever they give you. It's a shitty rule, but I didn't make it. Adults did. So be prepared for that life. someone just talking about me? Master Biakia must have been talking about me! <laughs> I wonder what he's doing while he's calling my name. Jeez, Master is such a perv. I can't just stay put here! I gotta get out of here! And help Master out! To me, I'll buy you ramen. I'll even add seaweed for you as a top. Uh, hey, she ain't here. Now that's committing to a joke. <laughs> uh, strange though, her scent's still here. Did she perhaps run away on her own? Is that like a GPS for Dekomaru's wristband? This'll be good for tailing her. Anyway, you want me to chase after her, don't you? But why are you giving this splendid gift to an enemy like me? Is it perhaps that the other me has some annoying plan hidden up her sleeve? Huh? Well, doesn't matter. Our goal is probably the same anyway. <laughs>
to begin the motivation! P please no! N no, no more! Fun! N no! You like this? Huh? You like it, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> 
culprit. All right, full blast! <laughs> 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 Adorbs type, more like a pretty girl. Why do you think so highly of yourself? You're the type of girl no one invites to a sleepover. Yeah, my clothes. Jeez, grade schoolers are brutal. Don't go getting captured by some little runt. I thought you wouldn't come. I mean, right after we had that fight. Fight? What the hell are you talking about? I just want to save Master Byaku. <laughs> Toku, I was so scared. <laughs> <laughs> What's this unexpected girl-on-girl -girl development? Whoa there, lady! I ain't got that kind of taste! Get off me! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I... I tried to leave you. I tried to run away. And I said such horrible things, like... That you don't have any friends. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry, Toko. I have no right to accept that apology. Huh? You seriously are stupid. Why the hell are you trusting a serial killer? What? What happened? Nothing. Nothing at all. Satisfaction! Oh. What, what, what is going on? 
going on here? Um, let's just go for now. It would be a hassle to explain. Y yeah, okay. I don't really get it, but I definitely don't want to be down here anymore. Kamaru Naegi? More like Kamaru Naegi. <laughs> oh, come on. That wasn't even clever. to get myself a new outfit, but you wrecked the moving fire castle. I feel furiously angry. You have seriously made me mad. Your face doesn't really match up with what you're saying. This is acting, after all. Inside my heart, I can't help but feel unlucky. Speaking of unlucky, you really should have let me motivate you a little more. You could have felt so good, your mind would have been blown! You'd become so twisted! I don't want that to happen! Oh? You're going to abandon the responsibility of being a dwarps? That's not fair! Being a dwarps means being an object of jealousy, being called ugly bitch, or told to die! If that doesn't happen, being a dwarps just isn't worth it. I think what you're describing is called undue resentment. And another thing, Omaru is not as cute as you say she is. She's like slightly above average. I'll take that. Undue resentment? No, no, no. This is the work of demons. All I wanted was to be the same as everyone else. A normal kid who didn't stand out. But she used me to get her dream, even if it meant going to market with me. Well, the guys who wanted that are to blame, too. Business with a mother and daughter set? How perverted can adults be? Oh, my mistake! I meant demons, not adults. Seriously, I'm so ashamed of myself for actually listening to what those ugly demons used to say! But everything's changed now. As someone who knows what makes adults happy, I also know the things they don't want. Using what I've learned, I can take down the demons and make them suffer as much as I did! N not all adults are like that. There are good people who... Then why didn't anyone save me? If the world is so good, why didn't... said just now, that wasn't how I really feel. That was acting. 
Just leave it to the former child acting genius. And a perfect performance is easy as cake. Hmm. And also, I've been saved by Big Sis Junko anyway. Th that name again? I'm sick of hearing that name. Oh? Does Miss Ugly Glasses over there happen to know Big Sis Junko? <sighs> Miss Ugly Glasses? You guys have no idea. You don't know how horrifying that woman really is. You were fooled. I don't know how she convinced you that she was some sweet, gentle girl, but... G gentle Gentle! Please! <laughs> Stop with the gentle! <laughs> when they're gentle, I... I get all flinchy! No! I don't want gentle! I don't... Please stop! Anything but gentle! Please, no! Stop with the gentle! What happened to her? This doesn't look like acting. Connects with the ground seems like a good time to strike. Here's the weak spot hiding under the armor.
big circle. Spinny, spinny! <laughs> hey, that gun is totally cheating! You can't use it! It's against the rules! Well, how was I supposed to know that rule? You guys came up with them! <laughs> you sure have gotten mouthy. going to get you to talk. Where is Master Biakia? What are you doing to that child? How immature of you. No, I guess it is rather demonic in a way. Ganging up and abusing a child? It's like a special skill all you adults have. Use? You guys are the ones who started all this! All we want is a peaceful paradise, where children can live without fear. Don't make me laugh! You've been using those monokumas this whole time to murder adults! She's right. If all you wanted was a peaceful paradise, you shouldn't have done it like this! There is no other choice. We must kill them. If we allow them to live, our paradise will be undone. And if that happens, we will be forced to endure our pain once more. Nothing will change. We can never be at peace until we have wiped out every single one of them. So we have to kill the demons to protect our world. Sounds like something from a damn video game! Have you lost your mind, kid? Yeah, you're probably right. We've all gone mad. Masaru, Jotaro, Kotoko, Monica... We're probably all insane. Broken. But whose fault is that? The adults are the ones who broke us! Nagisa... You want to hear the truth? We're scared. We're all terrified of the adults. Hearing their footsteps. Sensing their presence. We can't help but feel scared. Completely terrified. As long as adults exist, we cannot rest. We cannot live in peace. At this point, 
The damage is irreversible. I... I figured that something like that was behind all of this. And I do pity you, but no matter how pitiful you are, it doesn't mean that you can hurt others. To just treat them how they treated you? That's just going to make everyone equally miserable. So you're saying we should just take it? You're saying we should abandon all hope? Hope? No. It's fine. Let's end this already. I want you to leave this town. Huh? You want to run away, right? You want to escape the city, right? Then I will let you leave. Satisfied? Nagisa, are you sure? It's my decision. As leader. But what about Monica? I'll persuade her. <laughs> Hold on. Are you seriously saying you're just gonna let her go? Until you two arrived, our revolution was progressing smoothly. I don't want you to interfere any longer. So please... Just get out of here! Stay away from us, please! Chipper. Well, of course. Everything is going swimmingly. Spinny, spin, spin. The world is spinning, and Monica's at the center. Everything is all thanks to my wonderful allies, playing their part and doing their best. Looks like time's winding down. Just a little bit longer, and we'll have a brand new successor on our hands. <laughs> a second generation Junko and Ashima, huh? Well, things are getting pretty interesting around here. As expected of the woman I entrusted with my life, it was not wrong of me to believe in you. Hmm. Why the surprised expression? You idiot. You're the only one I trust. Don't you know that by now? <laughs> <laughs> 